Here we are again, another two nights, this time it's Saturday, three o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm coming, going home Monday lunchtime. I'm meeting Tim down at the Green Bridge, and uh, he's doing two nights too. I've got a new uh, cook set to try out, just because I've got some stew I wanted to make, and it doesn't fit in my zebra can. So I had to get a bigger set of pots. Uh, what else? Got new tarps, love and life. No more holes, unless I burn them. So yeah, plodding on. I should always also say that last night's temperature was minus one degrees, expecting minus two tonight and tomorrow morning. So yeah, lots of frost about through the night. So I've packed warm with my hammock. So yeah, loving it. Timing, perfect timing. I've loaded my kit here, just to stop and have a little breather. Carrying quite a lot, I've got the chainsaw in there too. Aye. Big enough. <laughs> Need a wider lens, don't I? <laughs> Do you want to spin? Unloading it in front of the fire pit where I'm going to set up next to my log wall. Everything's just as we left it, as Tim's. All our logs and and that. The sun is going to go down literally in 10 15 minutes. So I'm going to get set up. This time or I'll end up smacking the head on all that wood. <laughs> Don't hit my firewood tip. Nice. A bit high on that side. <laughs> this dog paw prints all over my dad. <laughs> 
So I'm out just uh, finished setting up and I just seen the sun. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. See it reflecting off Tim. So, this is going to be our home for the next two nights. It's all tarped up, we've just joined the tarps in the middle. So I've been working hard getting lots of firewood with Tim. Chopped up a couple of logs with the chainsaw. So Tim lit the fire, you can see that on his video. Just chopping up logs. Well I've chopped up Swiss roll. <laughs> that was hard work. So I've got my new pan on water going to be boiling for some tortellini the grill's burning off with weird light coloured flames it's like those magic fires that is one nice grill set up that Gonna put the steaks on first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're gonna put the steaks on first because we uh, both like our steaks well done. Yep, and that's the way it is. So they are Aberdeen Angus sirloin steaks, which is I don't know if that's gonna mean some Aberdeen Angus. It's just. Yeah, sitting in front of our wall of fire. It's pitch black out there, look at all our firewood too. And you see chocolate eclairs. It's going to be a special time there. <laughs> Oh, 
tomato and basil sauce. Here's a door. Oh my god, look at Tim stealing all the fire gloves. <laughs> How mangled it was. There you go, people. I took John's axe away. It was a bit um, <laughs> rough. I'd hit a few stones with it, a couple of so I, uh, bits of wire and stuff. Put it on the belt sander and then on the buffing wheel. It's uh, so much better. Before it looked like an axe. Uh, saw. Had so many jags <laughs> on it. You can still see a little bit of the yeah. the dimple there in it. Or maybe maybe not. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah. Right, don't kill us. Everyone, oh, we slept like a log. Proper flaked out the dogs here too. It's <laughs> Tim. Hi. <laughs> Tim. Did you have a mishap last night? Yeah, my uh, my air map is leaking. Oh, good. I woke up in the middle of the night in like a ball in the middle of my hand. <laughs> it all deflated around me. There's our setups for last from last night. I've just checked the uh, weather again, and it's going to lower itself more tonight. There's a minus two tonight, so a minus three or four down here. Keep our fire going and get lots of firewood. Beautiful morning now. Sun's out. How much of that log we burnt last night? Good half of it, like. And uh, me and Tim built a the two bits, I just added another bit to it there just so we've got a nice big bench in front of our fire. This lifts us off the ground. We've also put another tarp up the back of us just to keep the wind off us and it's warmed this whole space now. So yeah, awesome. Breakfast is a go. Bacon and black pudding rolls. I'm looking forward to this. After moving them logs on that bench and that I'm quite hungry.
breakfast for kings that. Got some profit rolls, slightly squashed for dessert after breakfast. <laughs> it's necessary. So yes, this is our splitting section. These are all our logs for the splitting. I've cut them up with my chainsaw. I've got loads and loads of logs just everywhere. So we're gonna be good even under the bench. Five PM. The sun is starting to set. Uh, clocks went back last night, so darker nights, lighter mornings a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna keep chilling. Love being outdoor, and it's very cold. See my air breath in the air. Nice logs for tonight too. Well seasoned wood. It's washed up. Another bit of driftwood. Tyson's in there on our bench now. In front of the fire. So I've got a bit of garlic butter in my pot. Just gonna just put a bit of lubricant. Put my steak in there. So I've got the uh, steak, the carrot, the potatoes, everything in there. I'm gonna put some water in and let it stew for a bit. Two logs. Tim split the other half. Hard work, but worth it when it's burning. That's my breath in the air, you can see. So I've got an air temperature of Minus 1.2. That's out of camp. In camp, it's so warm. Brilliant. Dropped a lot more. Just put a new round of logs on the fire. Took a while for them to catch. Temperature drops rapid, doesn't it? It does. Well, guys, we'll catch you in the morning. It's me tucked in my hammock. Tyson's down there somewhere. 
underneath my softy jacket and in my sleeping bag. So yeah, we'll catch in the morning. Really hard frost last night. Look at all the leaves that's fell off on top of our tarps. Just starting to pull everything apart now. But yeah, look at all the leaves. Very hard frost last night. Still a lot of patches of grass that are still frozen. Like this one. <laughs> That's Tim just nice packing night. his bike. And now I'm going to plod on. Well guys, it's been fun. I'm almost home. Catch you all again on the next one. Thanks for watching.